Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, guys, we are going to start. We are going to start with uh, our second unit. And our second unit from lesson one, we have the Good main evening. purpose. Good evening, Jessica. The main purpose of this class for today is it is a participants will be able to describe and follow the process to buy or sell others online. And uh, uh, one thing that we uh, are going to use a lot in this moment are different um, words, vocabulary that we that is going to be very useful for achieving this main objective. And then the, this is the name of the unit that is online orders and refunds. To start with, uh, we have the bingo activity. And this bingo activity, you have 18 different words. On, on my left, I do have 18 different words. And you have here, here only 16 blanks here. What are you going to do in this moment? You are going to reproduce this um, table in your notebook, right? You have to have 16 spaces. Here we have one, two, three, and four two, three, and four. So we have in total 16 spaces. I want you to draw, draw this in your notebook. And also at the same time, you have to include in every single space, you are going to include, for example, the vocabulary that you have here. For example, I'm going to pick cards. And this is an example. I'm going to write down in this space. I'm going to include cards. Then I'm going to include scarf in this one. Scarf. So I am going to decide where to choose, where to write down the vocabulary. I have 18 words, 16 spaces. So it means that two words are going to be out, right? Right? Can you do in this moment in your notebook, please? Reproduce this. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Um, we we are uh, try to draw the the space in, in our no notebook and yes. with, with the hands. Yes. No. Yes, in in on your notebook, <laughs> on your book, okay. with your hands, and uh, this is a drawing. And also you are including the vocabulary, this vocabulary. Okay. Okay, let us do it. I think that in three minutes you have finished. Okay, let us do it please. When you finish, when you're ready, write down please, done.
Okay, Berta, don't worry about it. <laughs> When you're ready, just let me know, please. Hey, Kenya, I understand, okay? Be careful and I hope your father is okay soon. I am doing it too. You continue doing it. I'm going to do it by my own. Haven't you finished? <laughs> I can see that finish. You have finished? But I don't I don't know. Oops, I think that you got some troubles <laughs> with your audio, Jennifer. I couldn't listen. No, I couldn't understand. I could listen to you, but I couldn't understand. This is an example about the way that you have to do it, right? I am doing it. I am picking up the words that I consider are going to be in the chart. Have you finished? Jennifer says yes. What about the others? Yo lo estoy llenando con las palabras así al azar, igual que ustedes, ¿ok? En el orden que ustedes quieran. This is what you have to do.
Oops. Have you finished, guys? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. But if you are from your computer, you can use it without your AirPods. Okay, guys, have you finished o no lo están haciendo? <laughs> and I am thinking that you are doing it. Hello, hello. Are you there? Or is yes, only Jennifer? Jennifer? I, I... <laughs> yeah, because I think that only Jennifer is there because she's the only one that answered. What about the others? Are you there or not? Yes, I heard teacher. Are you doing it? Okay, Berta, because she cannot do it because she said that she is she's on her way home. But what about the others? Están haciendo lo que solicité o you didn't understand? Okay, come on, guys. I need communication from you. Sé que la mayoría está de oyente, pero, por ejemplo, Wilfredo no está de oyente, Valerie tampoco, Rose tampoco, Adilson tampoco. Jessica Rubayos tampoco. Y de ahí el resto está de oyente, ¿ok? Do you understand what you have to do? Or I may follow with the, 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 the next activity. Anyways. I finished, teacher. You finish? Yes. Okay, Adilson is ready. Jennifer is ready. What about the others? Okay. Oops, I erased that. Okay, anyways, I'm going to start. Okay, guys, what we are going to do in this moment is just to practice vocabulary, right? This is just for practicing. If you ready or not, we are going to start. And this is just first before getting to this bingo card, I'm going to read the vocabulary and you uh, listen to it and later you are going to repeat it, right? But first, just listen to it. We have the first one that is computer. 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 Lift. 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 Get. 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 Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Shoes. 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 Cards. Cards. Products. 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 Package. Products. Package. Package. Books, books, jeans, jeans, sweaters, sweaters, tablet, tablet, 
makeup makeup box box keyboard keyboard shirt shirt scarf scarf mouse mouse okay mouse wow. now Wilfredo Renderos, can you read them, please? Wilfredo Renderos, can you read them, please? Okay, he's on his way too, okay. Any volunteer? I don't know who's there, <laughs> who is able to read or not. Okay, any volunteer Com to read? Com computer. Thank you. Leaf. Keep. Cell phone. Shoes. Cards. Products. Package, books, jeans, sweaters, table, tablet, ah, tablet, make up, box, keyboard, keyboard, Key keyboard. Okay. Shoes. Shirt. Shoes. Shirt. 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 A scarf. Scarf. A scarf. Okay. Scarf. A scarf. Ok, ok, comencemos pronunciando la, el so, Vamos a pronunciar sonido, no cómo okay. se llama la letra. Ok. Scarf. Scarf. <ríe> ok, José. Lo que sucede es que me pronuncia la E y dice scarf. Ah, ok. Entonces okay. no lleva okay. la letra E. Comienza okay. con el sonido de la letra S y dice okay. scarf. Scarf. That's it. Okay. Mouse. Okay. Cute. Thank, Thank you. you, Jose. Let me see who has written. Okay. Now we are going to, I'm going to start like um, naming the words. For example, I'm going to say, for example, I'm going to say books. This is the example. And if I say books, usted lo que va a hacer es esto. Pero le voy a poner otro color para que se vea. Hmm. Vamos a ver. He doesn't want to have a different color. Como lotería. Yeah. That's it. Okay. okay. So you are going to do it like this. I'm going to do it by pencil better. It is faster. It is faster. It is faster. You are going to do this. If I say package, you cross it out. Okay. If I say t-shirt, you cross it out. Okay. Okay. And, and, If I say jeans, if I say box, and if I say cat, you are going to say bingo because you have the four of them in a row. Bingo. Okay. This is bingo. This is, <laughs> wait, this is bingo. And also, this is bingo. Mm -hmm. Right? Any, any of these ones, 
it is bingo. Right? Okay. And then, so whenever I mention one of the words, you cross them out. Okay, let's see if I can uh, erase. It. Yes, this one. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to start and you start crossing out the words. Pero, quien diga pingo, you have to take a picture or a screenshot from your notebook and you post it in the chat box. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay let's see. I'm going to start. I'm going to cross it out first. Tablet. Okay. Next one. Mouse. Ooh. Next. Shoes. Shoes. Next. Books. Books. Next. Computer. Computer. Next. Package. Package. Next. Keyboard. Keyboard. Next. Cards. Cards. Next. Sweaters. Next. Box. Mm -hmm. Next. Products. Bingo. <laughs> okay, you are the first one. Okay, Jose, you are the first one. You are the winner. Now let's see another one. Next one. Left. Next one, makeup. Next one, cell phone. Next one, cat. Let me check. <laughs> Who has posted? Are you, Jose? Yes. You posted the picture I... in the WhatsApp? Yes. Okay. Yes, I... Okay. Because I didn't know who was that person. Okay. Yes, you did it. Okay, then the last word is jeans. Okay, so the only one, the only winner in this activity is Jose. Okay, the other ones didn't want to participate. So thank you very much, Jose. <laughs> You're welcome, teacher. Okay. Now, guys. With this vocabulary, the important aspect of this is what follows. Because all this vocabulary, if we talk about grammar, it has a role. And the role of these words is that they are, all of them are nouns. All of them are nouns. 
And we need to understand that we have different kind of nouns, such as, I'm going to jump this. For example, we have different nouns. For example, for people, we have proper names, proper names, David, Emily, but also we have pronouns, he, she, and also we have mother, father, grandfather. These are common names. So we have common names, proper names, and pronouns. All of them, in this case, are for people. In a different way, but all of them are nouns. Also, we have another kind of, of nouns that they are referring to different places. Places such as proper name, Asia, Europe, America, India, Pacific Ocean. These are proper name for places. But also, I can have common names. Common names for places, such as hospital, school. These are common names for places. Then we have things. With things we have Mobiles, books, pencil, desk, car, television, shoes. All of these are objects. But we have common name for them. All of them are common names. Nouns. We have nouns. Nouns, nouns, and nouns. And the last ones are ideas, but they are nouns too. Honesty, friendship, freedom, loyalty, anger, wisdom, memory, nouns. That is the common aspects among all these words. All of them are nouns. And why is it important for us to identify that they are nouns? Because with the following grammar structure, we are going to use nouns. And if we don't, if we don't understand, or if it is difficult for us to identify what words, are nouns, maybe what follows, it is going to be a little bit complicated for you. Otherwise, the following topic, it is easy, right? Now let's check this. What topic are we going to talk in which we need nouns? demonstrative adjectives. With the demonstrative adjectives, we are going to use nouns. The demonstrative adjectives are going to be, for example, this, that, these, those, This, that, these, those. Be careful with the pronunciation, right? Because 
commonly we say this this and we don't have to pronounce it that like that this this is short the pronunciation is short and it is this this but this one it is longer and your mouth has to be like these these and also listen to the ending of the pronunciation z, 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 z. i say these i don't say this 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 two different aspects this is short and the ending is s, this but the other one it is longer and the ending is z, z, and i say these can you listen the difference between the two pronunciation yes teacher yes okay and these two are easier we say that and we say those 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 so in total i have four different demonstrative adjectives i have this that these and those four different demonstrative adjectives what are the demonstrative adjectives well the demonstrative adjectives are going to i'm going to continue with this the demonstrative adjectives are going to tell me something about an object in this case this object is a book this is the noun this is the noun that i need i have a book okay the demonstrative adjectives are going to tell him are going to tell me something about this object for example the demonstrative adjectives are going to tell me if this book is near or far also the demonstrative adjectives are going to tell me if the object is singular or plural this is the information that the demonstrative adjectives are going to give me for example if i pay attention about the book i will understand this i have a hand this is the hand this is the object this is the noun in this case that noun it is a book the previous book but the hand is telling me an information that i'm going to write it down through the demonstrative adjectives one demonstrative adjective is going to tell me if it is near or if it is far or if it is singular or if it is plural in this case i have here this book and the hand can touch the object in this case it is the book and then i say this book it means here close it is close to you it is that you can touch it this this eh? on the other hand i have that 
book and the distance is more. That is why it says that is far, long distance. And then I say not close or I say there. For example, where is the book? That book, it is far. I cannot touch the book. So I have two demonstrative adjectives in this moment. I have this and I have that. That. In these examples, those are the ones that I have. This and that. Distance. Near and far. But also I have another characteristic. Both of them in this case, this and that, are telling me that the object is singular. This book, that book, singular. Near or far, but both are singular. I don't have plurals here. I have only singular. This book, that book. Where is the, the noun? Book is a noun. Okay, this is a noun. What kind of noun is this? Is this a, a proper noun or is this a common noun? Or is this a place noun? This is a common noun. Book, any book. Not on a specific book. So this is a book in general. Singular, far and near. Now I have the other part. How many books do I have now? Two. One book? Two. Two, books. two books. I have two books. It means that these are examples of plural. Plural, 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 plural. Both are plural. Now, the distance makes the difference. Both are plural. One is near and the other one is far away. The one that tells you that you can touch them, these, these, these. On the other hand, I have the other one that is those, those, far away. These, those, these, those, books, the attendance. <laughs> now I have the reminder. Okay. Near, far, plural. These, those. Do you think that you understand that? Yes? Yes, I okay. understand that. Okay, we are going to, we are going to have the attendance, the first, and then we are going to have like 
some exercises related to this. Let me see. Okay, guys, prepare your cameras, please. And we are ready for the first time. Let's see. Esta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. She's not there. Present teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay. Present. She's there now. Okay. I'm here. Okay, good. Elsa Benedicta Magaña. She, I haven't heard. Okay, yeah, but she's here. Yes, okay. <laughs> I thought that you were not here, Elsa. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Okay. Eric, I, uh, Isaac, I am. You were late, but you are here now. Yeah. Eric, Isaac. Present, present. Okay. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruayo. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. Are you here too? Jose Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. Jose Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here. Okay. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elizabeth Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present, teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present, teacher. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera. Present. Valeria Michel Monge. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present teacher. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. En Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present. Okay. Good day, Amanda. Good. Okay, guys. Just let me let me check. So since you said that you got no troubles with the previous information, then the I want you to complete the following exercises. Let's see. I'm going to post in your uh, in the chat box some exercises. Let us try to complete and you know when you finish, please the picture here just for being sure that you have already finished. Can you click on it, please? And complete the exercises? Yes. Okay, thank you. Teacher, where? In the chat box. In the notebook. Oh. In the chat, no in the chat box, in, in this no, in the chat box, so uh, no, 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 sorry, I sent it just to Kenya, it was like just for here, so no, sorry. no, it is, I sent it, but I did a mistake that, that I didn't check that it was for everyone, just for Kenya, I sent it for Kenya, now you can see it, okay, yes. <laughs>
Okay, what happened? Okay, 76. Finish. Okay. 90%, okay, 76%, but why? <laughs> Let's see, 30%? <laughs> okay. No está en femenino, no se vale, eso es trampa. <laughs> Okay, 98, 98, good. I turned in the chat of WhatsApp. Ah, okay. We have to send the, 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 the yes, please. Okay. Okay, the 80%. Okay. Nobody has gotten the hundred percent. What happened? <laughs> but I, I don't I don't understand why. No, no, only those ones. Only those ones. Okay. But I don't understand why Berta has them. She has them in Spanish, but they are in English. I don't understand why. Because all the exercises are, are in English, Berta. I don't know. I don't I don't understand why. Okay. Can you check the pictures from the other classmates? You you will see that they are all of them are in English. I, I don't get why yours. It is in Spanish. Maybe you said, maybe you say yes to translation. That's what I can guess. Okay. Es que a mí solo en español me salen las opciones, no me salían en inglés. But why? Yeah, I don't understand why. Because you are the only one. Then all the all... Yo le, yo solo le di el link. Oh, really? I don't know why. 60%. A mí me pasa igual. Me pasa igual. Me, me lo da en español. Ajá. Uh -huh. No se puede cambiar en inglés. Yeah, but I, I don't I don't understand why. What happened? Because the answer... no hice nada. Yo solo contesté. <laughs> yeah, but I don't I don't understand why. What is the reason for you to have them in in Spanish? I I consider or I think that is the cell phone that option that is translate. Um, That's what I think. Always, yes, uh huh. Uh huh. I think that they have the option translation for for the pages when they get into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because uh, sometimes they ask, okay, do you want to translate? But if it is automatic, que todo lo han puesto para traducción, automatically it is in Spanish. But but the, the exercises are in English. Yo no he tocado nada, no sé mi teléfono. <laughs> no, but that's why. It might be. It might be your phone. Que ya está configurado así. O se lo han configurado in that way. <laughs> right? Okay, guys, but nobody got the 100%. And you said that you had understood. What happened? Okay, let's see. We have gotten the 95% es el que se le acercó más. Okay, good. But we are going to continue now. Let's see. Well, we have already practiced that. Now we are going to check. This is what we have from this one. These are uh, demonstrative adjectives. They represent the quantity. They can be singular 
or they can be plural. Right, singular or plural. These are the two options for plural. Sorry. These are the two options for plural and these are the two options for singular. And then we are going to cross them out. So then we have here, the ones that are near and the ones that are far away. So we need to understand this information, singular, plural, near and far, right? So whenever we are going to use this, um, demonstrative adjectives, you need to have that in mind, the distance and the quantity, distance and quantity. Now let's see. I am emphasizing about demonstrative adjectives because we can have demonstrative adjectives, but also we can have demonstrative pronouns. Adjectives and pronouns. The ones that we have already studied are adjectives. And they are different from demonstrative pronouns. These are the examples. Also, here are more examples. What are you going to do in this moment? You are going to work with your classmates and you are going to get the difference between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. They are not the same. That is what you're going to do in this moment. You're going to work with your classmates and you are going to guess what the differences are. Um, okay, I'm going to do it on my own. Let me see. Berta, now you can work, right? What? You can work now, right? Como estaba de oyente antes, yeah. ¿la puedo incluir ahora? Sí, sí. Okay, okay, good. Um, okay. Okay, so you three, Carolina, Davidson, Kerin. Okay. I have three for team number one, and let me see. Jose Davidson, Kerin, Remberto. Eh, Wilfredo, ¿será que ya lo puedo oh, agregar a algún team? A mí sí, teacher. Todavía no. ¿Osvaldo también? Yes. Ok. Ok. Ok, Osvaldo. Two, three. And uh, I'm going to add. Valeria. Rose and Remberto. Okay. Um, Wilfredo? Okay, no, I don't think he is. Can you, Wilfredo, or no? Unos cinco minutos, me, me agrego. Okay. okay, okay, good. So, I have three different teams. Berta, Elsa, in, and Jennifer, Osvaldo, Jose Adilson, and Kerin, Remberto, Rose, and Valerie. Go and try to guess what the difference is between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. Five minutes only. Let us go and work, please.
con eh, ¿cómo se llama? con the, the most adjectives nouns y eh, las otras cinco con demonstrative pronouns eh, ident identifying some or some things eso lo entendí yo hmm. Y ya entendí que teníamos que poner para hacer el ejercicio de ellos. That's it. El ejercicio es así, escribir cinco oraciones con los nombres, demonstrative, y las otras cinco eh, como refiriéndose a, a las no. cosas al lugar. No, no, not yet. In this moment, it is just to see What is the difference between okay. the demonstrative the adjectives and demonstrative pronouns? Leyendo los ejemplos, podrían ustedes tratar de comprender what the differences are, right? Okay? okay. That is what we are going to do in this moment. Okay? Okay. It's clear. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm here. Hello, teacher. Hello. Así, eh, teacher, no hemos eh, entendido bien el ejercicio. Perdón, yo tenía problemas con el internet. Okay. Eh, ya cuando, para quedar claro. Ok. De la última diapositiva que estábamos viendo, eh, donde eh. aparecía demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. De esa diapositiva, Necesito que traten de identificar what is the difference between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. Porque a veces no, 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 no. se confunden. Okay. Porque son tan parecidas, pero hay ciertas diferencias y eso es lo que quiero que traten de comprender. ¿Ok? Traten no, de identificar. ¿Ok? Pueden hacer uso de la sí. web. Okay, to look for more information. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Se logra ver. Se logra ver la imagen. Sí. Okay, va. Perfecto. Hola. ¿Qué onda? ¿Se sigue viendo la imagen o no?
Okay, guys, we are coming back. Just be ready, please. Okay, guys, I would like to listen if you have uh, some uh, differences between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. Can you tell us? <laughs> um. One of the different, and in my group with Rose and Valerie, uh, we're talking about in this case, demonstrative pronoun is this, that, but after, uh, after that, uh, you can use the subject is or are. So in demonstrative adjective, you can uh, write uh, the name of the object you can try to describe somehow so for me it's the one of the different i don't know okay thank you thank you that's what i want to listen to, your ideas okay thank you remberto anybody else teacher in my group i'm sorry sorry berta no you can no, you can. <laughs> okay. okay, Berta, go ahead. In my group, uh, uh, demonstrative object describe a noun in general. A demonstrative pronoun is in more specific. Okay, more yes, specific. The, Okay. Yeah. Is the uh, pertenencia, como se dice? Belat? Possessive? Yes, a possessive. Is the possessive. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Berta. Sure. Yes? Sure. Uh, okay, get it. Group, in my group, uh, the different is uh, the demonstrative pronoun is very specific. Uh -huh. um, the most of the adjective is uh, ah, sería como variable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, variable. Okay. Or, ¿Cómo sería en inglés? Varies. 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 It varies. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Kane. Okay, guys, now I'm going to tell you that you have some ideas about what the difference is between these two, uh, uh, we can say grammar structures. I am comparing, I am making the contrast about these two, even though, even though the topic it is only demonstrative adjectives, 
but it is important to identify the difference. Otherwise, you are going to be a little bit confused when you see that we have exactly the same word, the same vocabulary, but with something different. And that is something that I don't want you to face. It says demonstrative adjectives. First, we need to understand the difference between adjective and pronouns. What is an adjective? Can you define what an adjective is? Can you define what a pronoun is? The adjective is describe the noun. Okay, thank you. The adjective describes the noun. That's good. And the pronoun? What is a pronoun? Identify someone or something. Identify someone or something, but... But the information is generally... For for describe describe is not specific because um the adjective that that is the option that that you you can describe yes but but I'm going to include something if I say a pronoun let us think just for a while. Let us think a little bit in Spanish. If I ask you in Spanish, what is a pronoun? What can you say about that in Spanish? <laughs> what is a pronoun? Or am I going to ponchate you? <laughs> No, porque los adjetivos son los que describen a los nombres, pero los pronombres son aquellos que identifican las cosas, así mm. como tal. Identifican una cosa o un objeto y la pertenencia del objeto. Eso ajá, es un pronombre. Ajá, pero ¿cuál es el rol del pronombre? Ellos sustituyen a alguien. ¿A quién sustituye un pronombre? Al sujeto. Al sujeto. Al sujeto. Al nombre. ¿Ok? For okay. example, este, I'm going to give you the example con el sujeto que ustedes acaban de decir. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, tenemos el nombre Carlos. Pero no quiero utilizar Carlos como proper name. Quiero utilizar un pronoun. What sí. is the pronoun? Ah, I'm going to use he. Pero al momento que vaya a utilizar he, dejo de utilizar Carlos. Yes? Porque yes. entiendo, yes. I understand que he se refiere a Carlos. No puedo utilizar Carlos en he. At the same time, I have to use he as a pronoun. Something similar comes with this. Something similar because it says demonstrative pronoun. Quiere decir que a quien va a sustituir ese demonstrative pronoun? To the noun. ¿Cuál noun? Okay. When I say this, this is my chair. Entonces, ese this, ¿de qué está hablando? De una cosa. ¿De cuál cosa específicamente? De la silla. De algo que es mío, que me pertenece. No, ahorita no estamos con possessives. De esto. Okay. 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 This, ¿a qué se refiere? 
Quiere decir que hay varias sillas. Estamos hablando mm -hmm. de sillas, pero yo le digo, this is my chair. My chair. This is Just my chair. Cuando yo digo this, cuando yo digo this, usted ya sabe de lo que yo estoy hablando. Porque lo estoy señalando. Entonces yo no le estoy diciendo this chair is my chair. No estoy repitiendo. Entonces solo digo this is my chair. En lugar de decir this is my this chair is my chair, solo digo this is And it happens exactly the same with the rest. Yo digo, that is Peter's house. ¿Qué es lo que yo estaré señalando? La casa de Peter. La casa. Ok. Hay muchas casas, pero yo estoy diciendo, ok, that is Peter's house. Right? Pero quiero decir en realidad... Aquella casa es la casa de Peter. Right? Entonces, no estoy repitiendo la palabra ni chair ni house. Y lo mismo sucederá en el otro ejemplo. These are her clothes. ¿A qué se refiere este? A ropa. Clothes, yes. Ok. De que la ropa es, le pertenece a ella. Esta ropa es de ella, pero no digo esta ropa, sino que digo esta ropa es su ropa. Uh -huh. Para no repetirlo, solo digo esta es su ropa. Pero desde que yo digo esta, ya sé que estoy hablando de la ropa. And then, finally, I have those are migrating birds. Those are, esos dos se refiere a los birds. birds. Pero no voy a repetir, those birds are migrating birds. No, solo digo, those are migrating birds. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia entonces con los demonstrative adjectives? Los demonstrative adjectives, sí y sí, van a estar acompañados después de esa palabra con un noun. Todos. If you pay attention, dice, this chair, that car, oh. these clothes, oh. those verbs, oh. verbs, verbs. Oh. Todos los adjectives deben tener un noun a la par. This chair, that car, those clothes, those verbs, that blouse, this car, these houses, those books. Always, we are going to have a noun. And that is the difference with the pronouns. Porque los pronouns a la par de la palabra, this or that or this or those, no tienen ningún pronoun, no tienen ningún noun. Tienen el to be, y dice this is, porque eso ya se entiende de lo que están hablando. Después le aclara, ¿ok? This is my chair, ah, la silla. Right? And that is the big difference. Pero tienen que comprender that the most active adjectives and the most active pronouns are not the same. And we are going to have, we have more exercises in here. Let's see. This is exactly what I have said in this moment. Right? This is just another more information about the same thing.
in our book, we have examples like this. This is singular. I want to buy this computer. ¿Qué es? Demonstrative adjective or demonstrative pronoun? Pronoun. Pronoun. ¿Qué es? Demonstrative adjective or demonstrative pronoun? Demonstrative pronoun. pronoun. It's pronoun. Demonstrative pronoun. ¿Cuál de los dos tenía un nombre a la par? Demonstrative pronoun. Adjective. Demonstrative adjective. Y entonces, This. ¿por qué me dicen que este es pronoun? <laughs> Ajá. <laughs> This computer, this, this computer. is demonstrative adjective. Ah, this this is a demonstrative adjective. Ya les dije, después de el demonstrative siempre va a seguir un nombre que si es adjetivo. Demonstrative okay. adjective siempre va a tener un noun después. Y aquí lo tiene y dice, I want to buy this computer. This, me dice distancia. ¿Está cerca o está lejos? Está cerca. Cerca. This computer. It is singular. Only one. So I have, mm -hmm. I want to buy this computer. Continue with the same. Singular. Another example, we checked this cell phone on the web page. So you want to buy a cell phone and it says, we checked this cell phone on the web page. Adjective, the most adjective, again. ¿Por qué? Porque cell phone sí, estás escribiendo va lo que va a ser. El this. this cell phone. A donde tienen que prestar es atención es... Jugar a los partidos. No. La opción que más gusta al Fútbol Club Barcelona para sustituir a Gaby... Let us check the, the phone, los the micro, please. Cuando ahora mismo en el Tottenham... Eh... Ok. Lo que tienen que verificar siempre es this cell phone. Si ese this va acompañado de un noun, siempre va a ser un demonstrative adjective. Next exercise, next example, not exercise. This is a kit, right? This is a kit. Pero usted no es esta persona. Alguien está allá lejos. Y se la está enseñando a usted. Porque usted quiere comprarlo. Y allá está la persona mostrándola. And then we say that. And then we say, she is going to order that, que, that kit for her friend. Estoy con alguien más, ¿ok? She is going to order that kit for her friend. Distance. That, far away, singular. Seguimos con demonstrative adjectives. That, cat. Yes? Yes. Another one. Yes. Singular, again. The company wants to buy that left. The company wants to buy that left. Far away, singular. Next. 
Now we have, we don't have singular. Now we have plural. And I'm not going to say that, and I'm not going to say this. Now I'm going to change because this is plural. And in the plural form, I'm going to use these. Y media vez digan these, yo entiendo that the objects are near, que yo los puedo tocar. And then it says, you have to buy these shoes because they are very comfortable. Because the colors are nice. So you have to buy these shoes. Y todavía los toca, right? Demonstrative adjectives. Shoes. Plural, he can pay with any of these credit cards. Again, in todas se repite the same grammar order. I have these cards that, um, what I say, uh, that, that in singular, what was that? I forgot. I forgot the example. In, cell phone. In, that cell phone. That cell phone. Thank you, Berta. These credit card, those we are going to see. But all of them have, I guess, are those. Those cards. They purchased those cards. Those far away, plural. Those those what's the meaning purchase purchased you bought them <laughs> you purchase them you bought them okay okay that is another yes. way to say my co-workers sold those products those products, those products. So all the exercises in here are demonstrative adjectives. These are the, these are the examples that we have in your book. This is what we have in our book, unit two. And this is like the grammar point that we have already checked. Uh, yeah, checked. This computer, this cell phone, that cat, that left, these shoes, is these credit cards, those cards, and those products. Okay? Equations? Okay, let us practice before going further. We have this from your book. And then we need to decide what the correct answer is. If it is the one that you have on your left or the one that you have on your right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Exercise number one, it says, circle the correct answer. It's necessary to follow those or that steps to purchase what someone needs. Those. 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 Why? Those. Why those? Because. Plural. Plural. Because it is plural, okay? So here we don't have problems with distance. 
the problem here, it is we need to decide if it is singular and plural. And immediately we need to see here that this is something in plural. So this is not the correct because this is singular. So the only one that I can leave, it is those. So it's necessary to follow the <coughs> steps to purchase what someone needs. Number two. That. I think that I want to buy that 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 why why because it's because it is because it's singular. It's singular. singular it is singular so plural it is not here because it says I think that I want to buy that big desk I like it singular Number three. Do you want to buy this refrigerator? Okay. Refrigerator? Refrigerator? Refrigerator. That's it. Yes, <laughs> this is the one. Because this is not plural. This is singular. Do you want to buy this refrigerator? It comes in four different colors singular. Number four. I'm going, going to buy this two tables. This two tablets. Tablet. 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 With this credit card. This With table. this credit card. Yes. What is the difference in pronunciation? That is the problem in this moment. Pronunciation. How do you pronounce this? This. 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 Si no le sale el último sonido como mosquito, no está bien pronunciado. Si no suena como, si suena como una simple S, como this, no está bien pronunciado. Tiene que vibrar. Y hasta le tienen que picar los labios because it, it is like a, a honeybee. This. 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 That's this. it. That's it. This. Uh, this. Kind of, kind of. Z, 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 z. Mm. Imite a los zancudos. Z, 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 z. O a sí. las honey, honeybee. Sí. ¿Cómo le hacen las honeybee? Sí. Las honeybee. Z. I'm going to buy this. Porque esta es corta y el sonido de ese al final. Y dice this. This. Así. This. Así. This. 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 Es muy corta. Oh. This. this. La otra es larga. Los labios uh, go like this. Y tiene que producir esa vibración. These. Okay. And then I said, okay. I'm going to buy these two ta tablets with. Uh huh. Uh huh. This credit card. With? With this credit card. This credit card. This credit card. Because it is singular. So, si se fijan. Como es el tema, todos los demonstratives van seguidos de un sustantivo. This credit card, this two ta tablets, this refrigerator, that big desk, those steps. ¿Ok? Este no es un objeto, but it says steps to follow steps they are not like concrete right but these are nouns siempre son nouns now you have to complete this exercises siempre están en el libro right 
But now these are like pieces of conversations. Pieces of conversations. We have. Do you want to buy? La respuesta les puede dar la, um, la clave if it is seen, well, if it is near, if it is far, and you need to look for the, the clues for singular or for, or for plural too, right? So it says, do you want to buy tablet? Yes, I want to buy the black one. What idea comes to your mind? Yes, Berta, you can download it, the book. Uh, al entrar, I am so sorry. Uh, when you get into the platform, a donde usted um, entra para las actividades, el homework, ahí, Hay un apartado donde está el libro. Right. Let me check if I can do it. <clears throat> Let me see. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to I'm going to share. Where you can get it, Berta. Okay. Here you have, for example, we are here, right? We are here. So you need to read these ones. And it says Students Manual 4. You click on it. And then you have the book here. And you can't download it. Aquí está, ve? Download. Can you Thank see you, it there? teacher. Okay. Thank you. Anytime. Okay, I'm going to share again. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, here we have uh, the equations. In the way that they are, they are not giving you like too much information. In the way that they are, you can use not only one option uh, is for these ones. You can have more than one option in some of them, right? Let's see. Let us guess with the first one. Do you want to buy? Yes, I want to buy the black one. Which possibilities do we have? I think that is that. Do that. you want to buy that that tablet? Do you want to buy that tablet? Yes, that is possible. Yes, I want to buy the black one. Okay. But even I have another option. This. This. This, because indeed, no me da como ninguna clave for saying if it is far, if it is near. I can say, do you want to buy this tablet? Yes, I want to buy the black one. Oops, the attendance. We are going to finish this and then we go for the attendance. Exercise number two. Can I see? This, yes. Can I see? Aquí nos da un poquito más la idea de otra opción, porque quiere decir que si los quiere ver, es que no están cerca de usted. Right? Can I see? The, those. Those. Okay. Those, okay. Yeah. Can I see? The, those jeans, those, those, sure, those. what size, okay. 
Because can I see those? Those. Number three. My friend and I are interested. Are yes. interested in this. These are interested in this makeup. The small box. Okay. Number four. Did you bring? Did you bring? That package? It is a possibility, yes. Did you bring that package? And this package. Yes. Hey, did you bring this package? Y se lo está mostrando. Ah, yes, I did. Number five. You can't add... Those. Okay. Aquí, ese es la que más para darle sentido, right? No los tiene, no los tiene usted. Usted le dice, hey, you can add those four sweaters no. to the chart, okay? Okay, but I can take two. And number six, I have to go to buy that. These, okay. these, are, are these, these or those, porque mira dónde va a ir. Uh, those. 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 Ok. Pero, <laughs> ok. Le vamos a cambiar acá. Ok. Aquí en lugar de ponerle library, le vamos a poner bookstore bookstore porque a dónde vamos a comprar nosotros los libros where where do we go to buy books no. in the bookstore in the bookstore qué vamos a hacer a la Teacher, your microphone yes. is <laughs> yes. No sorry. listen. <laughs> sorry. Thank you. What is the library? It's a uh, in in Spanish la biblioteca. Yes. Algo así. That's it. Librería. No. Only read. Okay. Library is when you go and read the books. When you work, you search information. That is the library. But the place where you are going to buy, y aquí dice, ve, to buy new books, it is in the bookstore, not in the library. Right? And then, como tiene que moverse para un lugar, entonces, you don't have the book, so the best option in this case it is I have to go to buy those. those those new books at the bookstore. Okay, I'm going with you. I want to go to. Let me see. Okay. The attendance. Now that we have completed this, let us go with the attendance again, guys. Okay. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Here. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Upaña. Present. 
Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. Present. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Sí. Teacher. ¿Ya? Fíjese que no, no escuché que me mencionara. Tengo problemas con el internet. Ok, sí. Stephanie, Kenia, que okay, Stephanie. <ríe> Kenia Lisset, ok. Sí. Pero sí. sí le pasé, ok. But now you're there, good. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. ¿Más a Matthew? Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Good. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michel Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Now. Let me see. I'm going to Okay. I'm going to share another link in the chat box. <laughs> Again, le van a salir todos en español, Bert. <laughs> but they are in English. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. They are in English. Let's see chat box here. Now, ya van in context, not only the word, not only those cards, those toys, no. Now, as in the exercises that we have done, they are in sentences. <clears throat> Click on them, on it, please, and try to complete the exercises. Okay. Y siempre, please, me muestran sus answers in the chat box or through WhatsApp too.
Siempre le sale en español, ¿verdad, Berta? Ah, pero lo hice en inglés. Ah, oh, really? Sí. Ok. Pero aquí si se fija en español dice todo, no sé, you can click on the, on the, on the. No, vea la, vea la foto. Yes, the pictures, that's what I. Ah, pero lo puse en inglés, pero me quiero ver si cambia. Ya lo había puesto en inglés. Ah, ahí dice, ya encontré dónde cambiar el idioma. Ok, good, good. Déjenme ver que ya se volvió a perder. Okay, yeah, because the first picture was in Spanish and the second picture it is in it is in English. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí, le puse el traductor al revés. Okay. <laughs> sí, me salió. Okay, good. Si no, siempre me voy a sacar cero. <laughs> Okay, now Karen, Berta, Jennifer, eight out of ten. Jennifer got seven out of ten. Rose, nine out of ten. Rose, good. Jessica, you got them all correct, Jessica. Jessica Díaz, cute. Lucy, okay. Okay, good. You got seven out of ten. But now, you are going to work with your classmates porque van a ser la parte más difícil. Ya hicieron, ya hicieron el ejercicio y ya vieron cuáles están correct o incorrect. Ahora van a discriminar de este último ejercicio cuáles son demonstrative adjectives y cuáles son demonstrative pronouns. ¿Ok? Ok. En otro link. No, ahí con ese mismo link, pero van a ir a trabajar con sus compañeros, ¿ok? No okay. lo van a hacer solos, ¿ok? Van a discriminarlos, van a analizar. Solo que I'm going to recreate them. Vamos a ver. I'm going to include everyone, even the listeners, just if they are there, they are going to listen to the rest, right? Because that's what I want you to analyze. Let's see. I'm going to have only three teams. And the ones who want to participate, participate. You have three minutes only. Go. <laughs>
Exacto. Creo que ahí sí más fácil. Bien. Pero tienen que la envíen y la proyecto. Al chat la pueden enviar. Ahí está. Jessica que se sacó 10. Ahí está. ¿La pueden ver? No. ¿Sí? Yo no la veo. Solo la veo la primera. Está en el chat. Eh, sí, en el chat. quiero ver la primera. Es Demonstratory Demonstrative Adjective. No, la, la primera no pueden ver en pantalla. Porque no tiene el, no tiene el to be seguido del, del, del... Ambas son, ambas son no. demonstrative, compañera. En pantalla Demonstrative no. adjective y no, demonstrative pronoun. La primera es demonstrative adjective. Y ahora lo pueden ver. Sí, sí, ahora sí. Sí, ahí sí. Bien. The first is demonstrative adjective. The second is demonstrative pronoun. The fourth is demonstrative pronoun. The seventh is demonstrative. La segunda demonstrative pronoun, dijeron, ¿verdad? Uh, yes, yeah. La tercera es demonstrative adjective. Maybe. La primera y la uh, tercera son demonstrative. Yeah. Adjective. The four is demonstrative pronoun. La uh, cinco también. Five is demonstrative adjective. Seven is demonstrative adjective. And no, no, seven, no. Have you finished, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. demostrativo y aquí es igual ajá sí entonces es pronoun porque estás hablando del objeto uh -huh. ok vale la 5 sí. sería these sí, photos sí, sí. here are much sería, better no. than those photos uh -huh. eh, ese es adjectives porque está hablando de que están mejor están mucho mejor estás comparando uh -huh. Igual la parte del nombre, fotos. Ajá, exacto. Ok, para que vale. les ayude mejor gramaticalmente, chicos, hay que fijarse siempre en ese aspecto. Si está a la par de un nombre, inmediatamente es un a demonstrative adjective. Eso lo tienen que identificar rápido. Y yes. entonces, six sería adjective pronoun. La siete. Ready, guys? We're coming back. You have just one minute to come back.
ok. I am so sorry, Jessica, I took yours. <laughs> okay, this is Jessica's court. Then says what we have here, okay? Tell me, I'm just going to... <laughs> I don't know where where am I? Okay. You can see Jessica's result, right? Now just tell me. I'm going to be pointing here and you tell me. Number one. Adjective or pronoun? Adjective. Adjective. Okay, that is an adjective. Number two. Pronoun. 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 Number three. Pronoun. Pronoun. Adjective. Number three. Adjective. 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 People. People is noun. Okay. Adjective. Adjective. Pronoun. Pronoun and pronoun. 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 Adjective. 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 Pronoun. Pronoun. What's pronoun? Seven. Seven. Number seven. Number seven. Number six. Number six. Number six. Adjective. Number six, it is adjective. Seven. Adjective, yes. Pronoun. 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 Adjective. 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 Okay, you've got a 10. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now you can discriminate adjectives from nouns. Demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. Very good, guys. Okay, what yeah, well, did I say? Yes. We need yes. more practice, teacher, tomorrow. Yes, we need more practice. <laughs> of course, yes, we have course. more practice here. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for being here and thank you for participating. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good, Good night. night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.